Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to talk about putting up a light fixture outside the house when previously the light fixture wasn't wired correctly so we need to run a new wire up from the basement through the wall out the front of the house and then we're going to attach this onto the house itself. This is just the one I happen to be using. There's lots of other brands out there but the procedure will be exactly the same. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go downstairs and we're going to calculate where we're going to drill it through. Then we're going to calculate it out front so we drill it in the same spot and then we're going to get started. All right, so uh, stick around and uh, let's see where this goes. Okay, so now looking at it from down in the basement, you can see we have about six inches of space up there. We're going to go in there with our drill. It's a uh, one inch uh, hole that we're drilling in there so we can, so we can fish the wire through. Um, you want to calculate so that the you drill so it comes up inside the wall. It doesn't damage the sheetrock in the house and it doesn't damage the outside part of the house itself. So after we drill the hole in there now, we'll go outside with our uh, snake and we'll bring it down through there and we'll grab the wires and we'll pull them outside and we'll continue outside. So, uh, all right, let's go outside and continue. Okay, now we'll take the, uh, the light and the bracket off. And as you can see, they didn't actually even put the wires inside the wall, which it, it, it's supposed to be in the wall. It's not supposed to be above the top the way it is there. All right, so we're just going to disconnect the wires now. We're going to take them out, and uh, we know that the power is off because I know the plug on the other side is not plugged in. But we'll disconnect these wires, take the fixture out, and as you can see, there's no hole in the wall whatsoever. So that'll be our next project here. Okay, and now we made our measurements so we know exactly where we're going to make our hole in the house. And as you can see, we're only using a small drill bit that's only about a, an eighth of an inch. We're drilling a hole in there. We just want to make sure we didn't hit any beams inside the walls. So we're going to use a smaller bit. And then we'll go and get a larger bit and we'll make the hole a little bit bigger so we can actually get the wires through it. Okay, now we put the snake in from the outside where we just previously drilled the hole all the way down to the basement. We tied our wire that we want to fish through the wall, and we're now we're going to pull it up and pull it outside so we can continue installing the light fixture on the outside. So while my assistant pulls, I push, and we're going to go back outside and continue out there. Okay, now we're going to pull the wire through very gently. We want to pull it because sometimes it'll catch inside the wall. So you want to pull it very gently so as you don't pull off the, uh, the snake that was on the wire itself. All right, and now once you have it outside, we're going to disconnect the snake, take it off there because we're finished with that. And then just to play it safe so that the wiring doesn't get pulled in the, into the wall by accident, we're just going to tie a knot in the end of it, and then we'll go back inside the house and then down into the basement and continue in there. But the knot is just to keep the wires from accidentally being pulled through the wall while we'll work. Okay, so now we're going to reattach our, we're going to install the new light on the outside here before we go back down into the, into the house to finish the uh, connections inside. We're going to connect the black to the black on the fixture, the white to the white on the fixture, and, the, and of course the ground to the ground We'll get it all connected up here, and then we'll go down inside the house, set that timer up, and then run the wires over to our power supply, and uh, we'll get this job wrapped up. So uh, let's go inside. Okay, now we're just going to attach our bracket right here. That screws on with these in the back. Just like that. Same thing here. And we're just going to take these wires and disconnect them here. And we're going to take the wires, we're going to connect the white wire to the white wire, the black to the black, and this copper color wire is going to be connected up to the ground wire. So let me get this light up there, and then we're going to go downstairs and we're going to wrap this job up.
Now this footage is actually from another job that I did because I don't know why, but I didn't turn my camera on to film it. The battery must have been dead. So uh, this is the exact same procedure as there is as as with the uh, with the fixture that we're installing. You connect your black wire to your black wire, white to white, and the ground to the ground. You twist the wires together. You twist the white wires together in a clockwise position, and then you put a wire nut over the top of it. And, th and that'll pull the wire nice and tight. Same thing with the black wire and also the ground wire, the exact same thing. And again, you make sure you use a wire nut on everything that you put back together. And then before we put the fixture onto the wall, we're going to come in with some silicone and we're going to seal it this particular um, light that I put on had a gasket but the replacement that I'm doing on this job has no gasket so we need to silicone it before we put it back on the house so that way the water doesn't get down into the electrical components inside of it. Okay so now we did cut a hole in the wall and we installed our timer on the wall we took the wire from the outside and we put it on top of the uh, the timer itself on the load end of it and then down on the bottom part of the timer there's a uh, another wire that's connected on there it's the, it's the supply line which brings power into it but uh, when you buy a timer it'll give you the schematic of how you need to connect all the wiring up uh, it's fairly easy if you just follow the directions but now after we cut the hole in the wall and put the box and the timer in now we're going to go back down to the basement and we're going to continue with the wiring down there so we can complete this job. Okay, All right. So now we're back down in the basement. You can see where the wire came through in the uh, in the plate right there. We did actually seal it with some silicone sealer. We ran the wire over to where we're going to pick up the power from. Uh, this is just temporarily there. We are going to staple the wire to the beam the way it's supposed to be, but that's where we're going to pick up the power from. Okay, so now as you can see, we have our, our ground wire connected up on our Romex connector and tightened into the box the way it's supposed to be. We have our white and our black lines connected up, wire nuts on, and now we have power outside. So let's put the cover back on this box and we'll continue outside. And then you can see the, uh, the silicone that we put up there to seal off the hole. We put our staples around the wire to hold the wire uh, up against the beam where it's supposed to be. Check with your local building code to see what your requirements are, how far apart the staples need to be, just so you make sure you're in compliance. We ran our wires around and over to the, uh, to the electrical outlet where we're going to pick up the current. We then connected our, our, our Romex cable into the box using the proper connector to connect it. Okay, now looking at the light on the outside, you can see where the, the silicone has been put around where the fixture itself comes up against the house. On the bottom, we left that open just in case some water gets in there by any chance. It can drain out you know, through the bottom of it and it doesn't build up inside there. But we silicone three sides, both sides, the top, and we left the bottom um, with no silicone. All right, so that's pretty much it. This light fixture is, is done. The only thing we have to do now is wait for it to get dark out, and we're going to see how it works in the dark. Okay, so that's it. We're pretty much all set. We have all the wiring run outside. We sealed up the hole that was in the uh, in the beam, so that we don't have any issues with uh, with anything coming in through there. So that's sealed up with a waterproof sealer. We connected up into our light fixture. We turned our circuit breaker panel back on, and now we're going to go upstairs and we're going to program that re the uh, the timer that we actually set up inside the system. But that's it. Job is all done, and on to the next one. 
All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.